Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIW. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIW. In this new video, we will talk about the new amazing preview feature, field parameters in Power BI to dynamically change the dimensions or measures within a report. So let's get started. In this month's update, a new preview feature field parameters is added to Power BI. It can help explore and customize the analysis of the report by selecting the different measures or dimensions. For example, I can choose to display the product category or product subcategory in this table using the slicer above. Let's see a new example and how to set this up. First thing to do, make sure you have the latest version of Power BI. Then you need to enable the features in the settings. So go to Options, Preview Features, then select Field Parameters. You will need to restart your Power BI desktop. To create a new field parameter, navigate to Modeling, then New Parameter. As you can see, we have a new option called Fields. Select it. We can change the name of the parameter, then we select the fields we want to use. Let's add some different dimensions. We can rename the added field by double clicking on it. Also, we can change the ordering of the fields with a simple drag and drop. With this option, we can add slicer to the page when we hit create. Now, let's add the parameter to the table visual. As you can see, all the fields are displayed, but we can change that using the slicer and we can select one or more fields to display. So what if you want to change, edit or delete any existing field parameters? To do so, we will need to modify the DAX directly. We select the field parameter created to see the DAX formula used to create this parameter. As you can see, we have three columns. The first one is the display name of the choice. The second one is the field name using the name of function, which returns the name of the column or a measure. And the last one is the ordinal number used for sorting. Let's add a new field, for example, product name. The display name will be product name. The field name is product name from the product table. And the sort number is 4. Ok, nice. As you can see, the field is now added. We can change the orientation of the slicer if you want. Note that we can also use measures or mix and match different measures and dimensions within the same parameter. Let's add a new field parameter to display measures. We're going to repeat the same steps.
nice as you can see we now also can select the measures that we want to display in the table visual that's it for this video so what do you think about this new feature amazing right if you like the video hit the like button if you have any questions post them in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIW. See you in the next video.